inspiration. I hope everybody is doing excellent this morning as you guys log on from uh, where you're logging on from. Uh, just please go to the chat box and let me know what country, what state, what city, what province, which parish you are in as you're looking at us this morning via this live Zoom line. My name is Karen Mathias and I am a humble Sophia affiliate with this grand and amazing company called Vida Divina. If you guys are hearing me loud and clear, also please go to the chat box and let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let's keep that chat tap on, folks. If you guys are hearing me loud and clear, please let me know. Guyana, my lady Merlin. Big up, big up, Guyana in the house. Big up, sir. Christopher, Lion, Diamond, Thomas, big up yourself. Alrighty. So, I want to share with you guys this morning one of my favorite quotes. And it is said, if there is no enemy within, then the enemy without cannot hurt you. If there is no enemy within, then the enemy without cannot hurt you. And ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I pulled up this quote this morning is because of what I, what I wanted to talk about. You see, I'm a person like this. Normally, when I'm coming to do a live uh, web conference, I don't normally, uh, sometimes I may plan on a topic, but what I do, I like to allow things to flow naturally, you know, to tap into some of my life experience and then just pretty much talk about it. But this morning, when I was getting up, I was feeling within myself two pull, two pull, or some people say two spirits, all right? One had the motivation to get up, and the next one was saying, go back to bed and just get some more sleep. And, you know, with that happening to me, that shaped my conversation this morning and the, the the topic is this there's always two powers within thine self which one would you follow which one should you follow there's always two powers within thine self which one should you follow now with that said let's get right into it so ladies and gentlemen my realization of life it is always two pull. I remember from when I was a child watching cartoons sometimes you'd say in the cartoon you see one um version of the, the cartoon self appear on the left shoulder and one version of the cartoon self appear on the right shoulder. And when these versions appear, one would often appear in the form of the devil and the, the other one often appear in the form of an angel. If you guys experience this while watching cartoons sometimes, let's go to the chat box and type I've seen it. Go to the chat box and type, and type, I've seen it. So when this happens, you see the individual is being pulled between one side or the next side. One side is making it more enticing as to why you should do it, and the next side is also making their case as to why you should not do it. Right? And the cartoon character oftentimes go with one or the other. No. It is safe to say that is what is happening with us every single day. There are conflicting voices in our heads when it is time to make a decision. It's anything. Even when we make a decision, in order to keep consistent and keep focused and keep going at what we want to do, the conflicting voice come up every single day, every single second, every single hour. Anybody ever experienced this, please go to the chat box and let me know. You make the decision to become a diamond in this grand company. He said, okay, yes, I'm going for diamond. But then the activities that are required for you to become diamond, folks, you realize that these activities will take uh, consistency, will take focus, will take, um, you know, you being becoming a, a newer version of yourself, upgrading every single day. And with this happening, there's conflict. There's constant conflict. Let me say a special welcome to you if you're watching us on TikTok this morning. Right? There is constant conflict coming over and over and over again, nonstop. And it is upon us to decide where are we going to go. Are we going to be pulled to 
the side of the left or are we going to be pulled to the side of the right? Now, oftentimes when we're aiming to achieve something in life, we have goals that we will set. You know, we have goals within goals and we have our ultimate aim. And while we're moving towards what we desire on a day-to-day basis, while we're going at it, while, while our focus is on that, and we're trying to make it happen, we're trying to work it out to make this thing happen, you find out that within us, the voices start talking. Now, how do you choose which voice to listen to? And I've found, folks, that when you choose a voice that is in alignment with your goals all the time, every time, you're going to have voices without that start coming at you. I promise you. You have people who have their goals, set up their goals, and they're working towards what they want to achieve. But then, the voice come and say, oh, no, you're you're, 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 you're you know, get some more rest. You're working too hard. You know, um, take some time out. And you decide to ignore that voice within. And you keep going, keep working, keep making it happen, keep focused, keep going at it nonstop. Then your friends around you start saying, hey, well, what, you're not hanging out with us anymore? You know, you're scarce. Your family is saying, brother, you're working too hard. Sister, you need to take a break. Sister, you need to take a rest. Sister, you need to take some time out. You know? Guys, have you ever experienced this? Have any of you ever experienced this? You decide that you're going to make this happen. You start working consistently. You start ignoring the voice within that is telling you not to go for your goals. Or the feeling that you'll have to not do something that you're supposed to do when you know you're supposed to do it. You start ignoring that. But then the voices without start speaking. And they start telling you, hey, take a break. Get some rest. You can't be working 16 hours a day. You can't be doing this. You can't be doing that. This thing is not going to work. And these voices keep coming over and over and over again. Let me say a special welcome to Lady Enid Dennis Barnett this morning on the call. One of my amazing mentors. Right? So, folks, I want you guys to understand that the voices will keep coming. And the quote says, if there is no enemy within, then the enemy without can't hurt you. So once you have made that decision and you decide to lock in and you decide to work at what you're working at, and you ignore the voice within, when the voices on the outside come that are trying to slow you down, that are trying to put the brakes on you, when those voices come, let me tell you something, folks. They cannot hurt you. I promise you, you can't hurt you. Because the body is naturally designed to survive. Your body is naturally designed to survive. So what will happen is that every single time that you choose to do something different, which will put added stress, you know, or it will take some extra effort or some extra energy, the body will start rejecting it. And that is why we have to constantly be fighting, constantly be going on. Even the Bible says that we have to constantly be rebuking our flesh. We have to constantly be rebuking it. The desires to go left when it should be going right. The constant desires take the easier path. That's why most successful people will always tell you, will always tell you, take the narrow and winding path because that leads to success. That will always lead to success. So you see, with what we're doing on this 90-day run, we have made a decision. By saying yes to this 90-day run, we have made a decision to say no to everything else that is not in alignment with what we're doing. And a lot of the times, I used to hear very successful people say, busy work, there's busy work, and there's goal-oriented work. Busy work and goals-oriented work. And being busy 
doesn't always mean that we're being productive. Right? Being constantly busy, somebody can say, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm using the word busy all the time, doesn't mean that we're being productive. Because if I'm jogging in one spot, right, I'm still jogging. But if my aim is to move from point A to point B, jogging in one spot is not going to take me to point B. It's keeping me at point A, but I'm still moving, I'm still jogging. Right? So if our goal is to get to point B, every single thing that we do that will be keeping us busy should be in alignment with moving us from point A to point B and not jogging in one spot. All right? Good morning to everyone on TikTok this morning. All right? We're streaming live on two platforms. We're streaming live on Zoom and also on TikTok. All right? So ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave this with you guys as we are focused on our 90 day run let us constantly review our daily actions and when we're when we're making moves to take those actions let us understand that there are going to always be two voices the one that says take a break and the one that says keep going for your goals and we have the power to decide what form of us will be able to bring out what form of us will be able to constantly bring to the marketplace and let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen make no doubt about it the highly super successful people i'm listening to them all the time and they're saying hey we have this voice in our head constantly but we choose not to listen to it and the more we not listen is the quieter this voice gets until it becomes a whisper until it's not there anymore. And whenever they decide to take on a new challenge, a new voice comes. Because once you overcome one phase, you're going to be rising to a higher phase. And you'll be, you, you be getting into a new level of comfort. And when you get into this new level of comfort, this new level of comfort could be um, sapphire. Right? I want to make the next move. Or this new level of comfort could be apprentice, it could be bronze, it could be um, silver, it could be gold. I want to make the next move because you have acquired such comfort when it's time to move again that those voices start speaking again. You sure you want to do this 16 hours a day work? You sure you want to be talking to um, 20, 30 people a day, 20, 30 strangers a day? Are you sure you want to be um, having sleepless nights, go and get some rest. And the moment you overcome those voices, boom, you hit a new level. That's why we talk about constantly upgrading, constantly um, pushing ourselves to the next level, constantly moving. So let us focus on jogging forward on this 90-day run and not jogging in one spot. Now remember, the mandate is to sell Ladies and gentlemen, 50 products is 50 products uh, per month. We sell 50 products per month. And our products count, our product count is, is as it is on the website. One um, T, 60s is one product. A bottle of whatever it is is a product. A box of coffee. A box of tea. Right? These are products. Not selling, not breaking the bottle and selling the, the stuff, uh, the, the pills individually, or um, selling the teas individually. Right? Now, what I'm saying, I'm not saying not sell the teas individually, but I'm saying that when you sell six, that's, that will count as one product. So if you sell three teas, that's not one product yet. Right? You still have to sell three more. Alright? And when, you, when you're retailing, folks let us always strive to give these people the best value that they can possibly get that's what we're doing we're not selling products right we're not selling uh vida divina what we're selling is results what we're selling is results because understand this and then i'm gone understand this real quick 
everybody who will purchase from you is not because they, they, they want to know or like or see you. Everybody who will purchase from you or who will join the business with you is not because they love the company structure or the company setup. Everybody who will become a part of what you're doing, whether they become a customer or an affiliate, it has nothing to do with the company. Understand that. It has to do with two things. The first thing is that they have a problem that needs to be solved. They have a problem that needs to be solved. So the problem that they have that needs to be solved, that's the only thing they care about, whether it be losing weight off the stomach, losing weight overall, um, you know, um, subscribing to the healthier way of life for the customers, or it could be they're coffee drinkers and they just want the healthier version of, of, of um, the, the daily coffee. Or for the people who decide to join in business, the reason why they join is because the bills are beating at them every single month and they want to be able to offset those bills. Or it's because their children is about to go to university or they want to put some money together for the, the, the children's university. Or it could be that you know they're already wealthy but they're looking to diversify their income and they see this as a viable means of diversifying their income and things of that nature. Right? It's their problem that they're worried about. Their problem. That's it. Point blank period. Right? So when we decide to talk to somebody about what we have to offer, understand that the company, uh, the, the products, all of these things are second nature. First nature, what are your problems? How can I help you solve it? And then you find the best value that you have within your, your, your lineup to give them that solution. All right. I have to understand this. So when we're doing that, when we're giving these people value that they require, and it works for them just as we say it works, then we have a, have, a, have a viable business. We have a lucrative business. We have a business that is worthwhile. And after that, then they'll care about the products that we have on the line. Because they're going to start asking about know, other products. After that, then they care about the company. Then they'll care about our CEO. Then they'll care about our company station. After we have solved their problems, not before. Not before. Alrighty? So, ladies and gentlemen, as we go out there and we look to maximize our efforts on this 90 day run to greatness, let me say, please do have a productive day and not just a busy day. Have a, pro a busy, productive day. Alright? So, thank you guys all for being here. This time this call is officially over, but I'm going to allow um, you to hop off if you have to go to the work, if you have to take your children to the daycare, if you have to do whatever it is that you need to do, you can hop off the line. But I'm going to ask for some people to share with us how have their 90 days run been since you have been um, running on our 90 day run to greatness. Let's can open the line and quickly share with us. Open the line. And quickly share with us. All of you 90 day run here. Go on guys. Open the line. Open the line. Open the line. Let me hear from you. Go in once. Maybe the line can't be open. Give me a second here. Let me try and see. Let me just see if you guys are allowed to unmute by yourselves. Oh. oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, good. No, you can you can unmute yourselves, all right? So if you want to share, just go ahead and unmute, and you can start sharing. Just go ahead and unmute, unmute, and you can start sharing. Anybody want to share how their 90 days have been? Sales that have been made, new partners that have been on board. Alrighty, so thank you guys again for being on here. Please have a productive day. This call is officially over.